Hello everyone, my name is Larry Coates with North American Drilling Corporation and we're out here today on North American Drilling Brazelton Well Number 2A in West Texas. Our drill, we're drilling down to 6,200 feet, it's our total depth, and today we're at 6,123. We're almost to bottom. We've been drilling on this well for about a week or so and uh, we've seen some good indications uh, on the mud logs. We have uh, several shows on the mud logs. Um, we'll get to the bottom here and go in with the logging tool and get an electric log, a triple combo, neutron gamma ray, and, uh, and see what we've got. But uh, I just wanted to shoot a short video and kind of show you the, the workings of a drilling process out here. Uh, this rig is typical of the rigs that we use. It's a double, and uh, it gets down, and we've made some good times, good progress with this well. Uh, we're not haven't had any problems or anything like that. But we're going through several different zones. Our, our primary target is the bottom zone, the Ellenberger, at about 59, 55. Then we have, on top of that, we've got the Mississippian, the Caddo, the Strawn Lime, the Strawn Sand, the Canyon, the Odom Lime, Noodle Creek, Swastika, uh, Wolf Camp, several zones that we've gone through. Uh, we had some good indications while we were drilling through them. Uh, so we'll see here in an, uh, after we get done and get to the bottom. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video, show you how things work out here, how things operate. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a holler. Welcome to the North American Drilling, Brazelton Well Number 2A, Nolan County, Texas. Thank you very much. This is the hydraulics for the uh, blowout preventer. In case of an emergency, these hydraulics will close the pipe rams on the blowout preventer and stop a uh, potential blowout. Very important piece of equipment there. Underneath here we have the blowout preventer. pipe rams here that close in and seal off the well in case of an emergency. Water tank, engines, oil and fuel, there's the mud pump. We've got two mud pumps going. One here, this is a mud pump. This is the other mud pump. One's a primary, one's a reserve. Over there is where they mix up the mud. We'll see that in a minute. Engine draw work. the doghouse we have you know lockers some workers hello face on system shows us hold depth bit depth hook load weight on the bit ROP rate of penetration We are at 61.36, getting on down. This, are called, this is called the slips right here. The slip will uh, fit inside the hole and hold the pipe in place when they're making the connection. It's like a little, it's like a wedge, the wedge is down in there. This is the Kelly bushing which sits inside of the turntable. It's going round and round. And this square piece of pipe is called the Kelly. 
the Kelly goes through the Kelly bush and is connected to the drill pipe. So everything inside the hole is turning round and round. The drill string, all of the drill pipe connected together is called the drill string. And down at the bottom, <clears throat> at the bottom of the drill string, we have the heavy collars, some stabilizers, and then the drill bit. And all of it's turning round and round in the hole. This is called the draw works. Draw works are like a giant winch. And it's supporting everything, supporting all the weight of the drill string. This is what we move the pipe up and down the hole with. This is the brakes. Hydraulic chain. Uh, this is a tong. There's two of them. There's one here and there's one over there. And the tongs are like giant wrenches that grab onto the pipe and break apart the pipe or connect the pipe. And that over there is the uh, shows how much weight we have on the how much weight we have on it right now. The weight indicator. And over here is the uh, the mud pressure. Well, the mud the mud gets pumped from the pump and it goes up. Stand pipe goes up to the black hose. That black hose goes up the red pipe. It's called the stand pipe. Goes through the black hose, the mud hose, and goes through the center of the Kelly, and goes pumps down through the center of the Kelly, down through the center of the drill pipe, and it comes back up the outside and it flushes up all the cuttings. And it coats the inside of the well bore and helps to strengthen uh, the integrity of the well bore. And it, it, it helps hold back pressure also. So we're always checking the mud weight, uh, the weight of the mud, the viscosity. We can make it thicker, thinner. We can put gel in there and make it slimy. Um, different things. We, have, we actually have a mud engineer that handles all of that. And depending on our depth, we have to add more weight to the mud to make it heavier to hold back pressure. The mud is, the mo is probably one of the most important things on the rig. It keeps, uh, keeps us drilling and it just gets circulated through. It goes to the bottom of the hole, comes back out, goes out, to the, the cuttings go through the shell shaker in the pits and the, the water gets reused and, gets, and then the mud gets remixed and comes back around a giant circle. This is the next piece of, uh, next couple of pieces that'll be used. This is the next piece of drill pipe sitting in the mouse hole right now that'll, that, that, that will be attached next. You can see how it's hollow. And there's the slips. If we look up, up there you'll see, that's the traveling block, the big pulley, it's the traveling block, the swivel, Way up there in the crown is the crown block. And those are called fingerboards. That's where we rack up the pipe. When we pull it, when we do a trip, pull all the pipe out, we rack them up there. And there's a derrick man that goes up there and racks it up. It's a pretty dangerous job. There's the mud logger's trailer. More pipe. Cuttings and everything come out here. This white, this big piece of pipe goes over there. That's the shell shaker. The shell shaker shakes up, and all the heavy particles fall off that conveyor belt there, get rinsed off, and go off into the pits. All the heavier pieces. And that's where we take samples from. And then the, the lighter stuff, the fluid and the lighter material falls down and goes this way and gets checked and remixed. And that's the desander, desander, and desilter there. Which uh, filters out some of the heavier particles and then uh, we're trying to push the, the lighter fluids that away and it all goes that away and gets remixed and pumped back down.
bit before he pulls it up. Gonna drop the slips in. Working, working the tongs. Use the tongs in combination with the chain to tighten it up. Bushing fits inside the turntable. Piece of heavy collar. Or drill pipe. Some casing. Surface casing. Here's some bits. There's a surface bit, 12 and a quarter. There's an 8 and 5 eighths. There's the blowout preventer again. Right now we're drilling with, with what's called a PDC bit. This is a PD 
PDC bit is a abbreviated for polydiamond crystalline composite bit. Here's the shale shaker. Here's the screen where we take samples. Gas detector. All the cut, all the heavy stuff going that way, getting washed and going down there. You can see it moving here. Emergency eye wash station. Bentonite, soda ash, lime, okay, there's some lime, more bentonite, we we'll also have some uh, gel, there's bayrite. Polymer, that's a gel polymer. Soda ash. Soda beads. Mainly bentonite though. Here's some cottonseed holes that we use for lost circulation material. If we, uh, if we encounter an area of lost circulation, we'll pump this down to try and plug it up. It's just, you know, cottonseed holes. They also have walnut hulls they'll use too. And uh, that's about it. Like I said, it's a, it's, it's a big, uh, the mud goes around in a giant circle and gets changed when it comes back up and brings up the cuttings and everything. And we've been drilling for a week and we've been, we've been going pretty fast. We've been cutting a lot of sands and that PDC bit really does the job, so here in about 12 hours we'll be logging, doing the electric neutron gamma radiation log. Then we'll know what we have for sure. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I want to thank you for our participants on this joint venture. Keep your fingers crossed and We'll see something soon.